For a century, the Panama Canal has been at the heart of world maritime trade. And today, this vital shipping and transport artery, linking the Pacific and Caribbean Atlantic, has never been more important. The 44-mile-long canal that runs between the port of Colón in the Caribbean and Puerto Balboa on the Pacific is now undergoing a mega five and a quarter billion dollars expansion program. Begun in 2007, construction is scheduled to be completed by December 2015. The expansion will allow the passage of post-Panamax 15,000 TEU ships through two massive new locks and two new channels. But what of the 9,000 ITF maritime members working in the canal zone? They say that the new canal will require new working practices if the health and welfare of workers and the safety of international shipping is not to be endangered. And they claim that the autonomous Panama Canal Authority, often described as a state within a state, has recklessly ignored their concerns and even stepped up its long-running anti-trade union policies. Such is the concern over the hazardous and exploitative labor issues that a high-level ITF fact-finding mission recently visited the Central American nation. Hemos encontrado una serie de violaciones que podríamos decir inaceptables, básicas. La, la, la más eh, inconcebible, la falta de agua potable a bordo de las embarcaciones para que el tripulante pueda trabajar y tomar agua en todo el día. Nadie puede creer que un país como Panamá no le pueda dar un vaso de agua a sus trabajadores. Esto es solamente la punta del iceberg. Hay cuestiones serias desde el punto de vista operativo, de seguridad, jornadas inhumanas de 15 a 18 horas continuas sin descanso. Tuvimos una serie de reuniones con autoridades, diferentes organismos, todos los sindicatos ciertamente afiliados al ITF con nuestro secretario general compañero Stephen Cotton. Hay cuestiones que nos preocupan porque son un riesgo para el canal. La línea es que nosotros vamos a tener una convención colectiva y nosotros ya nos estamos preparando para defender esa posición de la convención colectiva en la calle. Panamá, you, the movement that you're creating strong unions in very difficult circumstances is crucial for the future of the ITF. You are doing the work that makes a difference and it is about power and it is about using your power. I mean, it's a the big issue was the deterioration of terms and conditions on the canal. Uh, but we have pilots, we have captains, we have chief engineers, we have crew, and we have line handlers, we have all of the, the people who are very worried that um, with the expansion and the cost, their benefits and their conditions are being pushed down. If you're working people 18 hours a day and double shifts, um, it's not good for the future of the business. And it's crucial that the authorities understand that it isn't just a, a small uh, master's union or a chief engineer's union, but there's a global movement behind these people. Panama is a centre for services. And you can just see from Panama City the investment that's gone into making this a hub where global business can take place. Um, Panama needs to respect its position, uh, both from the labour front but also from the market supply. And so we'll continue to, to argue to protect the workers' rights and ensure there is a good international standard health and safety environment for those working on the canal. You have a, a wide disparity of workers' wages. Uh, they work long hours. Um, they have to fight sometimes for such things as a lunch break. Um, you have guys making you know, very low wages, three, four dollars an hour. It's just something that needs to be addressed. Hutchison Ports, who runs the port here in Balboa, traditionally the company does not have a good history of working with workers. Independent rank and file democratic unions are essential uh, to a healthy work environment. 
and uh, international labor standards that aren't being adhered to. You know, we're in the 21st century. One of the biggest safety issues is over the increase in the number of tugboats that will be needed to move the much larger vessels through the new locks. But none of this has been properly discussed with tugboat captains and crew, and no training has been offered to mariners to help them master the new techniques and skills that will be required to protect lives and cargo. Tugboat Tonosi, with its crew of four, is one of 29 working tugs in the canal. Crews are supposed to do only eight-hour shifts, but... Existen situaciones en las cuales los trabajadores operativos muchas veces se tienen que quedar trabajando arriba de 12 horas Hasta donde yo sé eso es contraproducente para la salud del, del trabajador y para el bienestar e inclusive para la operación. Porque en realidad después de 12 horas de trabajo ya tú no representas un, un servicio, más bien representas un peligro para la operación, para el cliente, para la vida humana. We've been looking at our policy for the next four years in the ITF, and one of the major levers of that policy is hubs. And it's clear that Panama, as a leading country within this sub-region of Latin America, is crucial. And we understand as a changing supply chain that we need to have unions in each and every element of that supply chain. Panama se ha convertido, y esto es innegable, en un hub tanto en la parte de logística y transporte como financiera. La parte que nos compete, la parte logística, no podemos creer que Panamá el crecimiento que tenga, lo tenga sin los sindicatos. No podemos aceptar que Panamá tenga un boom de transferencia de carga, de transshipments, eh, se convierta en una zona de hub donde las empresas son eh, de países de primer mundo, europeas, americanas, etc. Y no respetan los derechos básicos. No podemos aceptar un juego de doble estándar. Hablamos de primer mundo, hablamos de job perfecto, hablemos de justicia social, salarios dignos, seguridad social digna y sobre todo un salario digno, pero no solamente por tener un salario mejor, porque va de la mano con capacitación, con entrenamiento, con transferencia de tecnología, eh, transferencia de, de knowledge de la operación. Eso es lo que queremos, que haya un desarrollo en Panamá no solamente comercial, también de la población panameña.